Hello there, it's Simone. Today I am journaling in my Hobonichi weeks. Yes, you <laughs> you have that right. I actually pulled out my weeks to journal in it again. That happened because I used it as a reference for my goals planner where I updated the highlights struggles and accomplishments for each month and I this Hobonichi weeks was a really great reference to find those and when I was flipping through the pages of the weeks I was so inspired to pick it up and continue and so that's exactly what I did um, which is kind of a few moment <laughs> a <sighs> that's good to to know that I actually enjoy journaling in the weeks because it has been weighing on my mind lately because I always put it onto my to-do list, journal in the weeks, but I never get around to doing it. So I know that I do enjoy it and it's not just the idea of journaling, but also the actual act of journaling and creating that I enjoy. And so I really know that I need to make a greater effort to take the time to do it. Um, I am just sticking down random stickers and that's exactly the way I, I usually went on creating those journal pages. I'm following the same recipe every time I create those pages. So the first thing I do is I lay down um, stickers. And often, and as you can see right here, I color coordinate them. Um, and this spread obviously is more of the blue and purplish kind. And when I'm done with the um, the foundation, so to speak, I'm pulling out my watercolor set to letter the highlights of each day. The highlight doesn't necessarily mean it is something positive, just a thing that stood out from each day. Um, I have been documenting my days quite well since the pandemic started just not in the hobonichi weeks more so in my planner and so i am putting that right next to me to reference um and um recap what i was doing i don't have a brain that is able to <laughs> remember what we did each and every day that is just um, me being diligent about documenting and I'm not documenting because I feel like I have to I am documenting because I enjoy using planner stickers and writing down things it is part of um, decompressing and um, yeah um, letting go of the day actually it's it's kind of like if I write it down on paper then I can actually put it to rest um, I usually base the color scheme for the lettering on the colors that are already on the paper um, I know that this is predominantly purplish um, but there are some hints of the red and some hints of the green uh, to be noticed. And so I also pull out colors that aren't predominant. And then I usually take a break because I need this to dry. Um, I In the past, when I have been using the Hobonichi Weeks, I used a Muji pen to journal. But um, in the, I guess things have changed and I, 
I tried to use it. I think I finished filled in the week prior to this. I had already decorated and watercolored everything, but I just hadn't filled it in. And I just did not enjoy using that Muji pen. And so instead of using the Muji pen again this week, I decided to use my fountain pen for the um, journaling bits and pieces. And this is a new fountain pen. It is a Twisby Echo in uh, extra fine. And I am so glad I went and um, purchased that one because um, I haven't had a great experience with the tw the Twisbees. They were just so broad and not great to write with. And I was al al already starting to question if it was me, but it was the nib size. So obviously an extra fine nib is the perfect nib size for me when it comes to Twisby Echoes. And I'm just filling in the last bits and pieces. I usually use to use um, os planner stickers as well, but for some reason I forgot that on this spread. But it doesn't really look worse or better either way, so I'm, I'm totally fine with not having planner stickers on there. Uh, but I definitely want to continue using those stickers so that I can purchase more or at one point in my life will have used them all up. I decide that this page is done and I thank you so much for following along with me. I had so much fun sharing this video and I hope to see you soon. If you haven't watched any of the videos on screen right now, there is more. I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you soon. Bye!